Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are doing something a little different. It is still toward a sort of a makeup tutorial, but at the same time it's not. So, um, y'all may have heard me mention this lovely little subscription service that I'm a big part of. Um, I absolutely love Morphe Me. I've been using them for almost a year now. It's been real. Honestly, yeah. It's, it's fun. You can adjust your date, you can skip a month, just like with a lot of subscription services. But I have found this to be probably my favorite one. Um, I've done a couple other subscription services. I've done some of the food ones. I've done some of the, you know, glam ones. I wanted to do the Kiss Me one, but I opted out of it. Um, but yeah, this is by far been my favorite. So if y'all want to hear what I got this month and all of the deets, let's keep on watching. I'll see y'all at the end. Pardon the naked face. I know lately I have been coming on camera with my face already prepped, but I didn't today for a reason. Today, we are reviewing my Morphe Me subscription. I know I've talked about this a little bit in some of my videos because I have a problem. Yeah. Um, just an FYI of how long I've been using Morphe Me. These are all brushes. <laughs> Granted, these are not ones we're using, they are dirty. But this is all like brushes from my Morphe Me subscription just because I love constantly building my collection. I have tons back there. Um, so yeah, I just felt like I would give y'all my honest opinion about the brand and my experience as well as test out these beautiful brushes that we got this month. So yeah, um, let's, let's get into it. Let's do that. Yep. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, um, I have my beauty blender just in case. I don't typically have issues with Morphe's brushes, but I'm also not a fan of applying my foundation with a brush, so we are going to have this on standby, ready to go. It's from Real Techniques, if y'all are not familiar with their uh, complexion perfection sponge, I think is what it's called. Something a little different. So let's get started by first off telling you what Morphe Me is. Um, so if you are familiar with the Morphe Cosmetics brand, this is basically a subscription service that allows you to get three to eight brushes, um, usually equaling at least $30 or more in, in value um, for $19.99 a month. You can swap out and then each month that you use them, you gain uh, points, rewards points for ordering for that month and then you can go back in and you can use your points to redeem them for other products. These are two of the shades that I have gotten with my rewards points using this. So um, you can also refer friends when you refer a friend, I believe they get a free brush and I believe you get a free brush or you get referral points. If you're not familiar with Morphe, they do not do just brushes. Um, Morphe's are really good cosmetics company. They do brushes, that's kind of what they're known for, but they also have a cosmetics line. It is professional quality products at an affordable rate. That's what kind of drew me to them years ago. Um, I also found some really good synthetic brushes through them. Um, they have the blue line, or the vegan line. I think I have brushes from them. Y'all probably see me use these a lot. Um, these are from my vegan collection from them, and they also have like the belts and stuff, so if you're you know, a makeup artist and you're trying to expand your kit, it's a really good way to get like a big collection of brushes. So this one, it shows you, so this is the little card that they send you with your brushes. It also sends you like a little bit of info on, you know, what you're getting for that month as well as a coupon code to use on the Morphe website. So if you want to, you know, go in there and really shop. So you can see it's a beautiful gold, uh, buffing kabuki brush. It's really nice. Um, it's a very nice density, so I feel like this would really help blend in a lot. And I believe these are synthetic brushes, so if you're not 
a fan of using natural bristles, these are really good. The next brush on our list is the Y12. They've given me like three of these flat contour brushes and I'm actually living for it. I love them. I have a button nose. That's what it is. I have a button nose. So for me, contouring my nose is not easy. There's no way to make this baby look snatched. Um, I can try, but yeah, it takes a lot of contour. So I love these because they give me a nice flat surface to work with and this is like the third brush I've gotten from through my subscription service dollars. So we have already surpassed the 1999 cost, okay? And our third and last brush for today, if y'all want me to do more of these, let me know, um, is going to be our Y1 brush. This is a precision pointed powder brush. Okay, so this set, keep in mind I told you, the subscription is $19.99, That's, there's no tax or shipping, it's really easy. But this, these three brushes combined retail without shipping and tax to the website, retail for $35 combined. So we just saved $15 plus tax and shipping. So I think it's a really good deal. Now, that being said, there are some things that I feel as an informed consumer I should tell you. Um, just because I know that there is some stigma around the Morphe Me brand and its um, founder and things like that. So I personally don't have any experience with the brand themselves. This is something that I have done on my own accord for quite some time now. Um, there was some, you know, breach in their in their payment site through their rewards, like their store, not through the subscription service. Um, but what I found out really comforting is that the brand was very forward about it. They sent out letters notifying me. I hadn't even known about it. Like I didn't hear anything about it in the wind yet. And I got a letter from them informing me of what had happened with their systems. So I felt like it was very, you know, open and honest, which I appreciate from my business standpoint. I feel like it's going to happen in this day and age. I mean, Target even got hit. There's been numerous large scale retailers that have gotten hit by these hackers and people that are, you know, breaching their systems. So I felt very um, grateful that they informed me of the situation. And as a foreign consumer, I wasn't affected by the situation. So I felt, you know, I would give it a shot and I would go through. They did. I felt from, as a consumer, I felt okay with, I mean, I'm not okay with what happened but I feel a trust in the company. So I went ahead and went with it. Now, without further ado, let's get some makeup on these faces. I'm gonna use these to put down my base today. So we're gonna see what we think. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. It's one of my favorites to see. Okay, so my face has soaked up the product nicely. Um, so we are going to start off with my foundation. I mix my foundations. So I'm using the Mary Kay Time Wise Luminous Wear Foundation and I mix the shades Ivory 3 and Beige 2. Um, I'm kind of a little unicorn. I'm light skinned but I have like yellow undertones. So I get, if I use like an ivory I'm really pasty. If I use a beige I'm usually too dark and it just doesn't. bring it down on my neck just because like I told you my shade is a little off so I like to just make sure that I blend downward into my neck to ensure that the product blends seamlessly. So now we're going to take our Morphe Y7. I'm going to pick up the excess product that I have on the back of my hand and we're going to start blending. Okay, so let's 
look a little bit more at how it blended. So, I feel like it left my skin looking like skin, which is nice. Um, I don't really see any crazy brush strokes, which is why I don't typically use brushes. So, I think this is a win. This one definitely worked. I like it. So there's the craziness for you. This is what goes on every day that I record before you see me. Aren't you happy? Aren't you, aren't you very happy? Okay. So now we're going to take the Morphe Y12 and we are going to blend out that contour. really tell how I feel about this with the cream. So I'm going to use my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge on my other side here just to kind of compare the two because I feel like I feel like when I blend out the line over here I'm not really getting what I want. So Okay, so it's not it's not terrible. Um, let's do the nose, and we're gonna see what we think. I I think it's that it's more for a defined line. Cause I feel like over here you can see more of the line than you can on this side. What do y'all think? So, definitely a win on the nose, so for me at least, good for the nose, not so much for my everyday contour, so yeah. So now we're just going to blend out my concealer because this is really not what I was going for, I just want to have it and we're going to... So now we have done my brows, we have baked. We're ready to go on to our next step. So now I'm taking my Morphe Y1 pointed powder brush. Yeah, pointed, such a pointed powder. And we are going to dip into the only brush palette I have. I literally have palettes of everything else until it comes to blush. And then I'm really picky about the shades that I pick, so I just, this one's kind of my go-to. Y'all know I am. So we're gonna take my favorite mauve plum color here. I'm gonna get that all over the brush. Yes. I'm gonna tap off any excess. So I got a little too much there on the end, so I'm gonna kind of turn to the side and we'll end it out. Um, what be my Morphe R12 from the Rose Gold Collection? We are gonna play with this one. This is from last month. What do I haven't looked at the paper yet? So we're gonna take our Heart Candy Just Glowed Cruising the Coast little trio here. And we are gonna go feeling, feeling peachy today. 
So we're gonna take this peach shade right here. We're gonna get that on our little. you guys so this is the final look um, I'm giving you vamp realness right now with a lot of beautiful like rust colors and browns um, for my lips I used limbo by Colourpop and for my eyes I used the Jeffree Star androgyny palette we mixed around with some shades in here um, we played around with deja vu and dominatrix one of my all-time favorites so yeah I hope y'all like this um, definitely if you enjoyed the video, you want to see more videos like this where I'm reviewing some products, not just doing the full face, let me know, give me a big thumbs up and hit that little subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. You don't have to, but it would mean the world to me and I would greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here and go explore some Deep Ellum Dallas art. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.